Richard Magnuson was raised in Montevideo, Minnesota. He graduated from high school in 1943 with honors and immediately joined the Navy where he saw active service in the South Pacific. Upon discharge three years later, he attended Gustavus Adolphus College in Minnesota and then the University of Oregon. He was a motivated student who paid for his own college tuition by working part-time in school, from GI Bill benefits, and from the money he earned during summers as a waterfront director at a boys camp in northern Minnesota. After college, Richard earned his LLB and Juris Doctor degrees from the University of Minnesota Law School. It was here that Richard met and courted his future wife, Finette Love. The two were married in the spring of 1952. During their early years of marriage, Richard contemplated combining his law degree with a Master's of Social Work, for which he had been offered a scholarship. However, in 1954, Richard sought work as a lawyer, a decision that was precipitated by the knowledge of the impending arrival of their first child, Marcus. Wilfred Rumble, who is the only other lawyer inducted into the Cooperative Hall of Fame, hired Richard to do legal work for the Farmers Union Central Exchange, later renamed Senex and now merged with Harvest States Cooperative. Two years later, Richard became the co-op's general counsel, a position he then held for 14 years. Over the years, Richard offered his law expertise to a variety of cooperatives. As parents of four young children, he and Finette looked for ways to alleviate the burden of soaring medical costs. They joined a fledgling member-owned cooperative health plan in the Twin Cities called Group Health Plan, Inc., which was one of the first HMOs in the nation. Richard served on the board of Group Health and as its president. He also performed pro bono legal work for Group Health for many years and served as its general counsel. In 1969, Land O'Lakes was looking for an experienced cooperative lawyer to become its general counsel and to set up an in-house law department. Again, Mr. Rumble interviewed Richard and recommended him for the position. He later became senior vice president of government relations as well as general counsel. He quickly became well-versed in the political arena and developed many high-level political contacts contacts that proved valuable time and time again in the struggle to protect and preserve cooperatives. He brought all of these skills with him while serving on the Legal, Tax and Accounting Committee of the National Council of Farmer Cooperatives. Richard hired several attorneys for this newly developing law department at Land Lakes, many of whom have gone on to their own distinguished careers in cooperative law. The first person Richard hired at Land Lakes was a young man named Jack Garrity who now serves as president of Land Lakes. During the 1970s, there was a serious threat to the Capper volstead Act, considered the Magna Carta of cooperatives. Richard was on the forefront of the legal battle to protect the cooperative charter. He arranged a number of meetings with Vice President Mondale and his staff to help persuade members of Congress that cooperatives were essential and vital to the farm economy. He conferred with former Senator Mark Andrews of North Dakota on an amendment, which assured that USDA retained sole jurisdiction for supervising cooperative activity. He also worked to extend investment tax credits to cooperatives and prepared a tax manual and a truth in lending manual for cooperatives, both of which were considered definitive guides. Over and over again, he was called upon to be the lead advocate for cooperatives, and he never shied away from the responsibility. In 1984, Richard decided to complete his career in private practice and joined the law firm of Doherty Rumble and Butler, where he practiced for 12 years. He also led efforts to improve cooperative law in Minnesota by revising the co-op statutes. He worked on mergers and consolidations of cooperatives, and he organized several value-added cooperatives. In 1994, the Minnesota Association of Cooperatives presented him with its Cooperative Development Award for Outstanding Leadership in Cooperative Development. Beginning in 1991, Richard's practice took him back to a dream he and Finette had shared 40 years earlier, international service. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, he traveled to Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, Russia, Eritrea, and the Kyrgyz Republic as a legal advisor on cooperative business law. He has written, reviewed, and analyzed proposed cooperative laws for Malawi, Ukraine, Moldova, Kyrgyz Republic, and Bulgaria. And, although he retired from the practice of law in 1996, he and Finette still pursue international service assignments. ACDI VOCA, NCBA, and Land Lakes have all relied on his service in their international programs.
Throughout this busy career, Richard and Finette raised four children, Marcus, Scott, Nettie, and Leaf, and seven grandchildren. Their interests are centered around their family, a small farm they own near River Falls, Wisconsin, and a lake cabin in Cable, Wisconsin. They enjoy outdoor sports and gardening, adventure travel, and classes at local colleges. Richard Magnuson has always been extremely dedicated to the cooperative way of doing business and has never failed to go beyond the call of duty. He has worked tirelessly to ensure that co-ops could carry forth their objectives of serving producers and consumers in a highly competitive economy. As a result, untold thousands of our fellow human beings have benefited. Tonight, we salute Richard for his lifelong dedication to cooperation and welcome him into the Cooperative Hall of Fame.